Hi friends, welcome to JSM Academy. Now we are going to discuss about the second problem of exercise 12.1 that is of application of trigonometry. Let us observe the question. A tree breaks due to the storm and broken part bends so that the top of the tree touches the ground. Top of the tree touches the ground by making a 30 degrees angle with the ground. The distance between the foot of the tree and top of the tree on the ground is 6 meters. Then find the height of the tree before falling down the before falling down. So firstly we should understand the question. So that let us take an uh, a rough diagram for the tree. So I am taking this part is an uh, this is an uh, tree. I am taking PQ is a tree tree before falling down. Now let us assume that some part of the tree is broken. So I am taking this point A, this PA is a part which is broken and this is fell down on the ground this is a PA is a broken and which is fell down to the ground and this becomes the top of the tower then top of the tree this top of the tree is 6 meters away from the foot of the tree that means this PQ measurement we know as 6 meters and this top of the tree makes a 30 degrees with the ground that means this is a 30 degrees now we have to find out height of the tree before falling down. That means we have to find out the height of the tree. That means we have to find out the PQ. So we have to find out the PQ measurement. Firstly, we should know that AQ measurement as well as PA measurement. But here PA is a broken part. This is bent towards the ground. So that becomes this PA. That means in this right angle triangle, we should know AQ measurement and hypotenuse PA measurement. If you know, then we can find out height of the tree before falling down. To that, let us answer the question. Let PQ be the height of a tree before falling down. And PA is a broken part. This is a broken part. Broken part. And PA bends towards the ground. And this uh, top uh, is 6 meters away from the foot of the tree. That means the distance between top and foot of the tree. That is PQ measurement we know as 6 meters. And PA makes uh, 30 degrees with the ground. That means angle P we know as 30 degrees. Now we have to find out AQ measurement and PA measurement. So, to that we have to use a trigonometric ratio. So, what trigonometric ratio that we have to use? Means, you have to observe that we know only one of the acute angle of a triangle that is P. With respect to a P, we know adjacent side. We know adjacent side. And we need to find out opposite side as well as hypotenuse. So, to that let me take a opposite side. So, firstly let us find out the opposite side. What is opposite side for the angle P? That is AQ. So, in which trigonometric ratio shows the relation between the opposite side and adjacent side? That is tan. So, apply tan p. Tan p is equal to aq by pq. So, on applying this, we know p angle p value and we know pq value and we don't know aq. So, by using this, we can find out aq measurement. So, to that, we know let like angle P means 30 degrees. So instead of writing tan P, I am writing it in tan 30. Is equal to AQ measurement as of now. We don't know. I am writing as easily. And PQ measurement we know as a 6 meters. So I have written 6 meters. Now tan 30 degrees. We know tan 30 degrees value as in 1 by root 3. Is equal to AQ by 6. Now we need to find out AQ. So that I am transporting this 6 to other kind of this equation. So this can be written as 6 by root 3. That means 1 into 6 is 6. 6 by root 3 is equal to aq. From this, aq is equal to 6 by root 3. As denominator is an irrational number, let us take let us try to make it as a rational number. So that I am multiplying this fraction by root 3 by root 3. So that you get a aq measurement. Now Six into root three by root three into root three. That is root three 
whole square is equal to a cube then 6 root 3 by square and square root both will be get cancelled then it becomes 3 3 1 so 3 2 so a cube measurement we get it as an uh, 2 root 3 a cube measurement we get it as an 2 root 3 let us substitute a cube measurement in a diagram let us write that a cube measurement as a 2 root 3 now if you observe that triangle in triangle pqa in triangle pqa we know angle p and we need to find out hypotenuse so to that what uh, trigonometric ratio we can use means we can use sine or cos y because with respect to angle p we know opposite side and adjacent side and we need to find out hypotenuse but here i am going to make use of cos so now i am going to apply cos p cos p is equal to cos p is defined as an adjacent side to the angle p that is p q by hypotenuse a p and cos p means what 30 degrees is equal to p q measurement to the 6 and a p i am writing as is we know cos 30 value is an root 3 by 2 root 3 by 2 is equal to 6 by a p now we need to find out a p measurement so that I am going to use a cross multiplication method so that it, this can be written as root 3 into a p is equal to 6 into 2 6 into 2 then a p measurement can be written as 6 to the 12 by root 3 again it is also an irrational number so denominator is, a, is an irrational number so let us uh, raise like in the denominator to that we have to multiply this 12 root 3 by root 3 by root 3 so that we get AP measurement, we get it as an AP is equal to 12 root 3 by root 3 whole square square and square root both will get cancelled. This can be written as 12 by 12 root 3 by 3. This is 3 once 3 fourths. So that we get a AP value as an 4 root 3. AP value we got as an 4 root 3. But uh, what we have to find out uh, in our question, we have to find out the height of the tree before it is falling out. To, to that how we are going to find out a pq means the pq measurement we have to find out to that what we have to do we have to add ap and aq uh, and we do we know these values means yes we got uh, two values of aq and ap so that to find out a pq pq can be written as pa plus aq so we know pa measurement is 2 root 3 and aq measurement is what 4 root 3 as uh, these are like so I am adding this to the so that you get this can be as 6 root 3 and we got a pq measurement we got as a noun 6 root 3 but here root 3 is an iteration number to get exact value we can write we can multiply we can substitute the value of root 3 as 1.732 so that on one plane this 6 into 1.732 we get answer as a nearest value is 10.392 meters so this is an height of the tree which is before falling down therefore height of the tree height of tree is 10.392 meters thank you friends for watching this video